So you went through the military, you went through boot camp, you did your time, and now you're planning on transitioning out of the military. Um, and this can pose a very big stress, point of stress, point of hardship for a lot of individuals, active duty soldiers that are in the military. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the transition phase and how that can be a hardship for you. Um, just, just so you guys are able to know before you actually make the idea of joining the military and what comes on the back end when you're trying to get out. What's that process like, right? Um, the first reason why it can be a very, very strenuous process and um, difficult for people transitioning out of the military is that it's simply a culture shock, guys. It's a very huge culture shock because you went through doing a standard program. You know exactly what you're going to do in active duty military day in and day out. You're basically going through a regimented uh, uh, process. You're very disciplined and you know exactly what to expect. Now, when you're transitioning out, there's a lot of thoughts that's going to come up, like, what what can I expect, right? Outside, it's more relaxed, right? Um, it, sometimes it's a very huge uh, culture shock. It's a, it poses a significant culture shock for a lot of individuals. So that fear are reasons why a lot of people end up not uh, transitioning out of the military. The second re reason is going to be job market challenges a lot of uh people who have been in the military for a while their jobs may not simply translate into the civilian world right so if your job it doesn't translate do what are you going to do what skills have you have you garnished throughout the your your military life to be able to use that into the civilian life right for example if you're a cavalry scout your your job was to go and recon and make sure that everything's good for all the soldiers to move in um i war right how does that you start facing the challenge of learning how does that transition into the civilian life and what civilian jobs or if you want to do entrepreneurship, how can you take your skills from your current position and translate that, right? Um, if you were, you know, on the range shooting all day, if you were, you know, st stuff like that, you, it's not easily trans transitionable. A lot of other jobs are, not to say that every job isn't transitionable, but it poses a fact because you have to start writing resumes and, and thinking about what you're going to do. So the job market can be another challenge, right? Um, the third reason why it is hard for military members to transition into the civilian life is going to be um lack of civ civilian experience right you don't know your role as a uh, as a civilian right you, you you just don't have enough experience a lot of people who uh join the military have joined right right after high school so they don't know like clocking in clocking out they don't understand the the how how things work you know they haven't went to high school a lot of people want to join uh go into college i mean and they haven't done that so they don't really understand the how to navigate life as a civilian right the third reason is going to be mental health and ptsd right a lot of people have gone into combat they have gone into um, a lot of strenuous and stressful situations so because of that it's going to be hard for them to transition out um, into the civilian world because they have um, a lot of, you know, built up mental issues um, that can af affect their job performances and make it, you know, just challenging to actually get into the job market. Um, that's, you know, that's a reality, right? Um, and then uh, another, like, the fourth reason, and this is going to be a huge factor, um, a lot of individuals, they miss out on the support that they were receiving in the military, right? Um, support as far as um, the networks that they have, right? The, 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 the groups or the friendships and stuff like that that they have. That, that's a whole transition because you're, being, you're pulling yourself away from that, something that you, that's very familiar that you already knew and that can be very hard right um your comrades your 
everyone that you knew basically when you were um, in the military, they're not there anymore. Um, the processes that you knew, it's not there anymore. And it can lead to feeling isolated, right? It can make you feel isolated, can make you feel lonely. So that mental thought process it can be a, a huge hurdle for people transitioning out of the military. So that's another thing to think about, right? And then a huge one is gonna be financial instability, right? A lot of people decide not to transition out because they just don't know how their finances are gonna look. Look, right, in the military, you know exactly when you're gonna pay, you're gonna get paid on the 1st and the 15th every month, right? As long as your contract is still you know, in effect, no matter what you do, you're gonna get paid on the 1st and the 15th. You're not clocking in, you're not clocking out, you're salaried, right? Um, so that's gonna be another reason why a lot of people decide to not transition out because they don't know what to expect. How, where are you gonna get your next paycheck, right? Um, or they don't have like a clear um, plan for this side to do another year or another three years and and whatnot so the these this poses a huge you know factor um another reason i just have so many reasons out here um just because i've had a lot of experience with this and and, and i know reasons why military individuals decide not to get out right um the th the the fifth one i believe at this point is gonna be Healthcare and benefits, right? Look, healthcare is a huge reason why people, civilians themselves, don't migrate from job to job because they may have a great uh, healthcare system. Uh, the military has one of the best, arguably, um, healthcare uh, benefits and stuff like that, right? Um, so a lot of soldiers, they don't want to lose that. They don't want to lose um, those benefits. They don't want to lose those health healthcare benefits for them and their family. So they decide not to um, transition out of the military for that reason alone sometimes, which is huge, right? Um, it's a lot of unexpectancies, right? Um, and it just makes life more complex. So for that reason, they decide to stay in um the military right um and sometimes it comes out to like paperwork and uh, um really understanding what you're gonna do and now it just becomes frustrating right life life just becomes frustrating when you're trying and thinking and planning so for that reason there is a solution to all of this right the solution is do your do, do, do your due diligence prior to getting out. So make sure at least a year and a half prior, start planning out, start creating your budget, start creating your finances. If you do decide to just do four years and you're, you're, you're trying to get out, maybe go to school or um, start a business or, 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 or use that as a stepping stone to get into a better job, Make sure you do your due diligence when you're about a year and a half out. Start planning, start creating a budget, start creating a savings plan um, on making sure that you have at least six months saved up. That way, when you are in the civilian world, that, that takes away a lot of the fear because a lot of times it's going to come down to finance and health care, right? So start, you know, planning um, all of those things out before you're making that transition out of the military. Um, those are gonna be the main reasons why a lot of people um, have the fear and the hesitancies of um, exiting the military. And so when you're going through your transition program and everything like that, it's very important that you pay attention and you actually you know, have a plan. I would suggest like everybody has a plan even prior to joining the military. Maybe your plan may change, maybe, um, or, or why not, but it's always going to be the best route to make sure that you guys have a plan just in case, um, and making sure that you're, you know, executing on, on that plan. If you guys got any value from this video, make sure that you hit that like button and share this video to a friend and comment down below what you guys uh, want to see. If any questions did pop up in your head, comment that down below. I'd love to make a video on it and 
yeah guys uh this is the move my name is cj Amusu, and i'm out i'll see you guys in the next banger peace